Right, let's take a little look at this then, Shelley. So. So coach is one of the first things that obviously we can see over the top of the water is what we've been discussing about about this different style of arm recovery action. It might not look as pretty necessarily as uh, double Olympic gold medalist Rebecca Adlington, but then Rebecca Adlington was only ever swimming in the pool. So you see the classic sort of high elbow yeah. recovery, which is what you started off by talking and, and about. And relaxed, she's very relaxed. Very relaxed over the top of the water. Yeah. But um, when we spoke to Rebecca about open water swimming, she had an absolutely no desire to swim yeah, in the open water. She had a bit of a phobia, a bit of panic about it, etc. So it's obviously a very, uh, very beautiful style. And even though over the top of the water, the straight arm recovery maybe doesn't look quite so pretty, it is effective. And that's the thing that you've got to remember when you're working with your athletes is that if a swimmer comes to you and say, look, I want to swim a marathon swim, I want to do a triathlon, I want to do open water swim, you know, what's happening over the top of the water needs to be adaptable to that environment in which they're swimming. And Shelley doesn't swim with a wetsuit. Uh, have you ever swum with a wetsuit? Yeah, once. Yeah, what, what that's, what about, that like? that's about four years ago. Did you like it? On the I boat? felt like I was swimming in the air. Yeah, really, it's like, really I'm buoyant. I'm already buoying yeah. enough. Yeah. I'm already high up now. And I was up like, oh, it's like catching air. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my feet, I think, were out of the water the whole time. So one of the things that we were discussing uh, with the coaches is that um, the straight arm recovery actually takes a lot less strain yeah. on the shoulder yeah. as well. So even though Rebecca looks like it's very relaxed on the shoulder, with a very tight wetsuit around the shoulder, yeah, it can it actually would, be, yeah, more, compress, be more, yeah. more compressive. Exactly right. Uh, when we look at the alignment there, very, very nice alignment going into the water. We've been talking about how mm. many coaches, sorry, many swimmers tend to cross over in yeah. front of the head. Um, great alignment, middle finger pointing straight forward down in front of the same shoulder. Mm -hmm. And when we take a little look underneath the water, let's take a little look at this two beat. Uh, really, yeah, perfect position there, look. Yeah. Look at that. Really nice high elbow catch and pull through. And obviously body position, very, very good indeed. Now, I've compared you to Rebecca Adlington. Now, if I compare you to seven-time world marathon swimming champion, Shelley Taylor-Smith, <laughs> 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 let's do just that. Uh, there we go. Cool. So this is the video footage that we took five years ago at the Challenge Stadium. And um, we'll take a little look at the, um, whoops, at the, here we go. So I often use this as a clip to demonstrate what a six-beat look, kick looks like compared to a two-beat leg kick. So off the wall, Shelley's the six-beat kick there, and then yeah, straight, into ball. straight into a very, very obvious two-beat leg kick look. And if we just run that side by side, there we go. It's that same beautiful flowing style. And again, Shelley, one of the things I use this video clip to look at is that a lot of people even the way I would describe the two beat leg kick, which is left hand in as the right foot kicks yeah, down, yeah. and then so opposite to opposite, and then right hand in as the left foot kicks yeah. down there. So it's opposite to opposite. But the emphasis there I've just placed on is kicking down, whereas yes. what we like about your leg kick is how there's actually quite a bit of emphasis on kicking the heel up towards the surface. So most people, when they're learning a two beat kick, can get the down beat right, but the, the upbeat usually just sort of floats up to the surface, yeah. doesn't look very coordinated, whereas that looks beautiful and um, beautiful and smooth. And when we watch you from the front and we look at this uh, this catch, the ideal catching position, as we know, Coach, is at the elbow here, should be somewhere between 100 and 120 degrees. Let's compare you with uh, Rebecca Adlington. So very, very similar catching oh, position, wow. look. Very, very similar indeed. Yeah. I would think that it's funny because it looks like me. Yeah, it does. Look it does. Yeah, and then yeah, with a white cap, if I, you know. Totally. Yeah, yeah. And if we just put on your um, your most latest, uh, most recent footage, just in a freeway comparison. Oops, let's get rid of that. There we go. And view it from the front here. Look at that. So this is 25 years after um, after the World Champs here in Perth, or 24 years. And look still executing an excellent catch and pull through underneath the water. There is one difference which we often talk about, um, and I'll compare here and here, and that is the surface of the water being there and the surface of the water being here. If we took a plumb line straight through, sh uh, through Rebecca's L um, shoulder, straight down to the bottom of the pool, 
see how our hand lines up very close yeah. to directly underneath yeah. the shoulder. Yeah. Whereas with yourself, that hand tends to sit a little oh, bit yeah. wider apart. Now, I tell everybody, I tell the coaches that my theory behind this is twofold. One is this is right before the London Olympics. So here you're already into retirement yeah. several years. Yeah. So potentially it could be a difference yeah. in, in technique. My, feel, my strongest feel, theory behind this though is because Rebecca swims in the pool, mm. she doesn't have any lateral movement from water and currents uh, yeah, and things yeah, shifting yeah. from side yeah. to side. Yeah. So my feeling is that the reason you take this arm a little bit wider than that direct underneath your shoulder is for stability. Exactly right. So, And that's probably confirmed with that second video clip today in that that's five years after this yeah. video clip yeah. And uh, and constant and it's still in that yeah. same sort of still in that same sort of position. So you know, I think it's more of a stability thing than it is necessarily you know who's more who's more swim fit or you know or what have you at that uh, at that point in time within the uh, within the stroke there. Yeah. So it looks very very nice indeed. And I think with when we just have a little look at um, the footage here again, but with the snorkel. Obviously, one of the nice things about the snorkel is, like Shelley was saying um, when we had like, a little interview with her, it allows the swimmer to actually really focus on what's happening with the stroke underneath the water. So when she's coming back down the lap here, though. Here we go. Look at that catch. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see the engagement of the tricep. You can. You yeah, can really yeah. see that there. Exactly right. You know, and very very powerful sort of position. Russell picked it out uh, from the side angle. You know, really sort of seeing that curvature as, uh, as Shelley's tipping her fingertips down, keeping the elbow nice and high, and pressing the water back behind. And again, as another thing, Shelley, which we which I often talk about with swimmers, is that swingers from the surface of the water look like they often swim quite flat. Yeah. And yet, if you actually measure Shelley's rotation through the long, the long axis of the spine, it's the same amount of rotation. It wants to be somewhere between 45 and 60 degrees. It's still about the same. Rebecca Allenson's 52. So even though from the surface, she looks like it's a much higher elbow, more rotation, etc. In fact, the rotation there between the two swimmers is actually very, very similar indeed. So. Yeah, it looks... Um... Something I've been focusing on since I've come back from having the neck injury because I did become very, very flat. So I had to really rotate. I had to not so much lift, but like that rotation from the pelvis mm. would allow the ro the lift of the thoracic, not the lift of the shoulder. Yes, right, So right. you can see the thoracic is very prominently rotating. Absolutely, up. yeah, yeah. Which, which you would see when you see John O or oh, totally. Kirby, yeah, you know, yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. always, it's always so high and that's something I've been working on. That's, that's exactly right, oh. yeah. One of the things, one of the ways we, um, in fact, I think, um, did you pop it, Lucy, did you, uh, sorry, uh, Emma, where are you? did you pop it on with Lynn, the tech talk? I saw somebody using no, a tech talk earlier on. No, who who was using the tech talk? Oh, we, oh, yeah, it was, was it? Yeah, yeah, with Ermi. So the tech you wear it around yeah, yeah. around here. Yeah. So the tech top, which normally helps for yeah. rotation yeah. of the hips, if you actually wear it higher up, just underneath the chest here and underneath the armpits, it helps to really get the, fo the focus on the rota excuse me the rotation on the thoracic spine, which is clearly what you can see Shelley doing very very nicely indeed. So, you know, it, it's interesting because over the top of the water, obviously coaches often say, well, it doesn't really matter what happens over the top of the water; it's what happens underneath mm -hmm. the water. You can see from that angle, Shelley's stroke, Rebecca Adlington's stroke, very very similar indeed. But of course, they're, they're horses for courses. Shelly yeah. swimming as a, as a good open water, well, not just a good open water, world-class open water swimmer yeah. would swim. Um, but it, deceptive, it can be very deceptive because you look at it and when you're looking at aesthetics, you know, you think, okay, well, yeah, maybe it would look nicer with a high elbow. But the question is, is it going to be more effective? Okay, yeah. if you're swimming with a high elbow and your fingertips are only just trailing over the surface of the water, it doesn't take very much chop at all yeah. For the hand to actually yeah. get caught on, yeah. the, on the recovery yeah. there, so you know it's a. Uh, I mean that's a that's a great view from that particular angle there, and you'll see that with all the best uh, triathletes and open water swimmers in the world, is they'll be swimming a lot more like Shelley than they will be swimming like Rebecca Adlington, as nice as Rebecca Adlington's stroke actually is, of course, for, for you know for the pool and for, for her body type and build. And it'll be very nice. interesting to see. It would be really interesting to look at a correlation between oh wait. Olympians mm. to London Olympians because they were both um, one was a rowing course, one was the lake. Yes. Sometimes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. now this year, next year, it's in the ocean in mm. Rio. That's right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll see people that you know because I know Rio is going to be cooler. It's going to yeah. be lucky to be eighteen. Yeah. 
and it's going to be very very much like Perfis in uh, around the in August. So yes. it's, it's not actually summer there. No, no, no. And I know it, it gets quite rough, and it's a lot of strong currents. Yeah. So it'd be really interesting to see the strokes totally, because yeah, yeah. they get picked in Russia in a river in yeah. July. Yeah. The first top ten this year. Yeah. That that's once again to see, and it's strange because mm. you know, you know, you having it in a river, but they're in the ocean, and that's right, yeah, yeah. And you get all different variables. It's but it'll be interesting to see what happens this year for oh, next year. Totally, totally. And like uh, for the London Olympics, the guy who won the uh, the ten k, Osama Maluli yeah, from uh -huh. Tunisia, yeah. more, mainly from a pool swimming background. In fact, medalled in both the fifteen hundred yeah. that year yeah. and yeah. in the open water. But Hyde Park was completely flat. Yeah. I say yeah. not, but but is probably the wrong uh, word. And Hyde Park was flat. But then no, the following and year, very little wind. Very yeah. little wind. And then the following year in Barcelona, the World Championships, when it was rough and it was in the ocean. Yeah. I think he finished, I have to double check my outfit, but he certainly didn't win yeah. the World Championships yeah. in those rougher conditions. So, like Shelley says, it'll be really interesting to see what happens in, in Rio. Absolutely. I'm just massively gutted that uh, Reese is not, he can't I know. go. I know. He can't go. No. The, the, happy, happy the trials week, right? of this weekend for yeah. Australia to go to, to go to Kazan. Yeah. To, to then qualify. To so hopefully yeah, qualify, yeah. yeah. To have yeah, a go yeah. at qualifying, yeah. I can't believe So, yeah, going. I know. But he won uh, two weeks ago in. Yes. The Oceana World That's Cup. right, Numia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We only beat all the French who uh -huh. were trialling for the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. So, got it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it'd be interesting to look at different strokes. We'll have to have a look, see if we can get the footage from Beijing and London mm -hmm. and just look at the different strokes and then see them. That'd be really good yeah. to see and then look at the strokes in Rio and just seeing if there's any high elbows. You know, maybe, you know, if they've been to the last Olympics or the one, two, two Olympics, how that transfers. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I mean, um, I got some footage of, uh, of Beijing, but nothing concrete for for London. But you know, it would be possible to go there and have a little look at it. And, yeah, we should be able to get yeah. something. Oh, I should definitely be able to get YouTube, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube, yeah, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What about it, um, uh, what was I going to think? Uh, oh, just thinking of some swimmers. Kerry and Payne. Mm, How's her yes. stroke? Yeah, yeah. So um, adapt, adapts and modifies actually. In fact, uh, let's just have a. Because she's qualified for Kazan. Because when they swam here in January, she qualified. That was their qualifying for GB. She's got, she's, she's a bit like Rebecca too, there isn't she? She is, but she can adapt um, here in, in fact, here she is actually yeah. in London. Uh, where is she? She. So this is Hyde Park, 2012. So you've got some high elbows there. You have, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Here we go, let's carry on playing that. So oh, she's that, relaxed. Yeah, she's she is relaxed. relaxed. Yeah, yeah. Relaxed. Yeah. yeah. Even though a lot of footage that you'll see of Carrie Ann in the pool. It's relaxed and it's, mm. it's swinging. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. So, yeah. In the pool, you might see some other demonstrations more like this. But, you know, again, she's adapting to the, the open water. And even though it's a flat lake, of course, she's swimming um, in close quarters with other swimmers, etc. So, there we go. But, uh, yeah. Getting that clearance. Yeah, there, the, those swimmers, the yeah, one behind, behind, yeah. behind. And look, yeah. it's yeah. it's what we call oily. Oily, yeah, yeah. yeah. So for that, <laughs> you can see your yeah. image in, in the water. Yeah. Interesting about that, yeah. yeah. Let's carry on on the, on the left side. I have someone on the right side. I mean, there's a contrast there, yeah. Or but, she uh, may change it depending on when she's breathing mm, or sighting. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Because she's doing all the work um, up the front. Mm -hmm. I think the number one rule really is just be adaptable, be yeah. versatile. Yeah. Let yeah. your swimmers yeah. be adaptable and versatile. Is that me? I'm not cool. sure. I don't know, people cool. coffee up and it doesn't weigh that yeah, yeah. much. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's just stop that then. Oh, thanks, mate.